on the sixth day when the Lord got up, oh man, his heart was filled with love. He loved the nice guy from my number 13, I say something to my friends, and this one three, I said, it's my small problem. You see, I want to learn this thing he called the earth, and nothing was living. So the Lord decided that he would create something that could live on the earth. So in the beginning of the sixth day, the Lord created animals on the earth and creepy things that live in trees. Boom! <laughs> They got too many yeah, things, it was all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so the Lord decided, as you look upon them, they're like scattered from the dry bread, birds, even the taste, some of them birds that have fish ones, everything you need to trees, and he said, I ain't done yet. <laughs> you see, when the Lord looked upon all that he had made, his heart was filled with love. But there was one big problem. You see, as much as he loved everything he had created, the problem was none of them had the ability to love him back. The Lord wanted to create a creature that could freely choose to love him back. So about midway through the morning of the sixth day, as the African-American poet James Rutherford Johnson described it, and the Lord stepped down out of space. And he knelt down beside a river like a man kneeling over a baby. And he scooped up a hand of clay. And from that clay he fashioned a new creature. And they breathed into him the breath of life. And they called him the Adam. Boom! by the river. Adam. <laughs> and the Lord looked at Adam and said, Adam, you the man. <laughs> and I'm Adam like, dude, I'm the man. <laughs> the Lord said, Adam, you got dominion over the whole earth. And Adam was like, dude, I got dominion. He's like, Adam, whatever your name is, that's going to be that name. He's like, dude, I got dominion. He said, well, Adam, What's that? And Adam saw this big fat gray thing with a long nose. And he said, Lord, that looked like an elephant to me. And the Lord said, Adam, that's an elephant. <laughs> then he saw this thing with a long neck and knees at the top of the tree. He said, Adam, what's that? And Adam said, Lord, that looked like a giraffe to me. And the Lord said, Adam, that's a giraffe. Then he saw another fat thing, big gray thing with a horn on his nose. He said, Adam, what's that? He said, Lord, that's like a rhinoceros to me. The Lord said, Adam, that's a rhinoceros. Then he saw this thing look like a combination between an elephant and a lion. He said, Adam, what's that? He said, elephant. <laughs> about halfway through the afternoon of the sixth day, Adam realized it was one big problem. So Adam went up to heaven and he was like, excuse me, Lord, could a brother talk to you a minute? <laughs> and the Lord was like, Adam, is there a problem? And Adam was like, no, Lord, I ain't got no problem. I ain't got to go to school. I ain't got to go to no job. I ain't even got to pick up chicken bones on the road, you know what I mean? <laughs> but look at here. Every night, I see Mr. and Mrs. Elephant go home. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, every night I see Mr. and Mrs. Giraffe go home. Lord, even the rhinoceros got somebody. <laughs> you think you can just hook a brother up? <laughs> Are you sure you know what you asked me?
<laughs> when he said that Adam laid down beside that river, and in order to create this new creature from the very same substance that he created at first, the Lord stepped down out of space. And in order that she could be the peak of creation, he reached down inside and he pulled out of it. And he fashioned a new being. And he breathed into her the breath of life. And they called her Eve. Boom! And there she was, standing there in all her glory. Because the first word that came out of Adam's mouth when he saw Eve was, Whoa, man. <laughs> and then Adam jumped up and said, Lord, you the man, Lord, you the man. <laughs> well, they said, about going to have a good time. And they hit her on out there, whatever they had to do. At the end of the sixth day, the Lord looked upon the light of the sky from the dry earth, earth, sea, and it takes the sun and the stars, birds in the air, fish and water, half burning, earth creeping in the trees, man and woman, and he said, Adam, Adam, this show is very good. <laughs> Did you know that in the sixth day of creation, the Lord looked upon all the had made and realizing that when Adam and Eve, he had reached the peak of creation and that never on earth, after he created woman, would anything else be created better. The Lord not only declared that it was good, but he declared that we were very good. But then on the seventh day, the Lord got up. By that time, he realized that Adam and Eve had become teenagers. <laughs> and that brother knew that with them being teenagers, he wasn't going to never rest again. <laughs> so he took the day off. 